the final presentation for the morning session is PP number 63 timing of starting a family the desired family size and their associated factor among women attending antenatal clinics at Colombo South Teaching Hospital the authors are Rana Singha AM Hettiarachi HTA Harshana WAP Gamlat NR Hapuarachi NHKSD Benaragama DH Senevi Vikrama KLMD and the presenting author is Rana Singha AM. Thank you, Madam Chairperson. Good morning, uh, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Aparna Ranasingha, final year MBBS undergraduate from the Faculty of Medical Sciences, University of Sri Javadanpura. And today I'm presenting the undergraduate research we did on the topic, timing of starting a family, the desired family size, and the associated factors among women attending antenatal clinics at the Columbus South Teaching Hospital. Even though there are certain social taboos, myths, and beliefs on this particular topic uh, because of the lack of proven statistics we thought we believed that we will help uh, this study will help uh, better understand the uh, impending fertility preferences and ideal fertility preferences in the Sri Lankan contest so in our study we aim to find out uh, the ideally preferred uh, age at which the women wanted to uh, start having uh, start getting pregnant and the number of uh, children they decide to have and the factors that affected these two entities were studied under socio-demographic, socio-economic and health related variables. After analyzing data we collected from 327 participants who were systematically sampled for our study which was a descriptive cross-sectional study. We could calculate the mean age to start the family was uh, decided as uh, 25.2 years and the mean decide number of children was 2.32 children and the timing of pregnancy showed uh, strong significant association with ethnicity and also postponement of the first pregnancy was seen among highly educated women working in private or government uh, government sector jobs with increased working hours and in those with more siblings Early pregnancy was preferred by less educated, self-employed women with less income. Pregnancy was also delayed by women who has a history of past gynecological diseases uh, other than subfertility. And the desired family size which has a mean of 2.32 children uh, had strong associations again with ethnicity where, most, uh, where almost all of the ethnic, ethnic, ethnic groups uh, wanted two children but uh, none of the Muslim women, the, uh, none of them wanted to limit their number of children to uh, only one child. And more number of children was decided by women who, uh, with less siblings who has got married at an increased age to a government working husband. And surprisingly women with long term illnesses and with a history of a gynecological surgery and uh, a past cesarean section decided more children. So concluding we believe that the research we did, uh, this, uh, our results uh, could develop the knowledge on impending fertility preferences and the factors that, uh, so that, that affect these preferences uh, to develop and implement the reproductive health in the Sri Lanka, uh, Sri Lanka, in the country. Thank you. Over to you judges. So how did you uh, sample the antenatal mothers for this study? So our sample uh, size was 422. So uh, we first got a, uh, got a rough calculation of the number of clinic attendees per day and with the time limitation, the number of days we could attend and we uh, did the sampling with uh, systemic systematic, systematic sampling. Systematic sampling, okay. So my second question is about the determinants. I don't know whether you captured it. Was there anything related to family pressure or pressure from the the family members, the in-laws or husband to have a, to sort of have an early pregnancy or postpone the pregnancy. You presented the, the socio-economic, socio-demographic employment details. Yes. Was there sir. such an element in uh, this? In our questionnaire we included, uh, we 
asked them to grade their uh, quality of relationship with their uh, mother, uh, the parents, the husband or the neighbors and other cousins and everyone. Uh, but uh, maybe because uh, maybe uh, it was because of the sensitivity of the question, but we could not get any, uh, no, nobody mentioned they have a poor relationship uh, quality <laughs> with the family. <laughs> okay, right, thank you. And I, <coughs> Uh, the some of these questions, okay, the data you presented are fairly sensitive questions, right? Sensitive information. So I would like to know what kind of precautions that you have, would have taken to improve the validity of that data. The, when you are gathering the information, collecting data, what kind of uh, precautions, steps have you taken to uh, have the correct information? Uh, so uh, first we got the ethical clearance from the university ethical, clear, uh, ethical committee then again from the ethical committee of the Columbus South teaching hospital and to collect data we got a administrative clearance from the director of the Columbus South teaching hospital and the consultant ob obstetricians who were handling the clinics and uh, for the inclusion criteria we only included planned pregnancies sir to Yes. Uh, was it a uh, uh, interview administered over? Yes, sir. We used a structured interview administered questionnaire, which we pre tested in a MOH setting at Borrelescom MOH. So, do you think when the uh, interview administered questionnaire is used for, to get, collect the sensitive information? So, uh, yes, we also mentioned in our report uh, as a limitation that there can be interviewer biased, uh, interviewer bias. Actually, why didn't you go for the uh, So, because of the literacy rate of people attending the clinic was dif uh, dif uh, 98% highest <laughs> literacy level in the Southeast Asian regions. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Please give a round of applause. Thank you.